I've been standing here for like 15 minutes trying to figure out how we did this. Hey, Dylan Jersey, welcome to Ledger Live. We're here today in the Newark Museum. And now, if you're like most New Jersey residents, including myself. The last time you were here in the New York Museum was probably your grammar school class trip. The last time I was here was fourth grade when I came here. And it was amazing. I spent the last two hours or so walking around this museum. It's amazing how much has changed, constantly uh, evolving and changing and rotating exhibits here. And then you get to places like this and things come rushing back from your memory. I remember standing in front of this as a fourth grader and it really blew my mind then, and it's blowing my mind now to be standing in front of it. Now I said, it's just downright wrong that people like me have not been back here since their grade school class trip, and this is your chance to correct that wrong. The next few days, the museum is leading, is having its centennial 100 year anniversary with a 100 hour centennial celebration. There's literally events going on 24 seven over the next few days, right, right through the weekend here. Everything from laser shows to Chinese dance exhibits to Buddhist monks chanting, really an incredible array of things. It's extremely child friendly. Mm -hmm. I love the mini zoo. Mm -hmm. It was very good. Melinda's not yet three, and she was able to see everything. And they had stools that she could mm -hmm. climb up, and it was awesome. So you're um, impressed, you're impressed with the Nerd Museum. I am very impressed. We also went next door to the um, Firehouse Museum, mm -hmm. and that was awesome, very educational. It, it's a wonderful museum. I think many people, not, they, they need to come here and really see uh, what the resources are right here instead of going to New York. Run, you know, it's much easier. For me, it's seven miles away on Route 280, and I get here in 15 minutes. At the Star Ledger, we've also shot a ton of video marking the 100th anniversary of the museum, and here's the one that I like the most. It really, I think, shows what this museum means and how it's inspired people in New Jersey and artists in New Jersey. Check it out. The artist Willie Cole has been working with shoes, a lot, for about four years now. That's why his studio in Denville looks like this. His work has been shown around the world, including at his hometown museum, the Newark Museum. A lot of my, my inspiration comes from tribal art. This was a face that I made uh, about three years ago that I never, never found a body. Feet, legs, arms, and elbows. And this is the head that will eventually go on there. So it'll be laying kind of like that with his head to the side. The Newark Museum has been very important to me in my development as an artist. Uh, it's the first place I saw African art. It's the first place I saw Tibetan art. It's the first place I saw real art, really. I didn't go to museums as a kid other than the Newark Museum. I think my first museum other than the Newark Museum came when I was in college. They have a piece called Stowage on display now. Stowage is one of my pieces from the steam iron and iron and board days. I actually did my first shoe piece when I was in Newark, and I think that was maybe around 1992. I made uh, three heads and a chair. When I make the furniture, I take the heel off of the shoe so that I can use each shoe s slid down on a pipe. So I end up with all these heels left over. And I see each one, especially with the color ones, I see each one as a brush stroke. It's like doing a oil painting in a point of style. I'm continuing my walk of shame through the Newark Museum. All right, let's not call it a walk of shame. Let's call it an epiphany. There's many more exhibits here that I had no idea were here. A lot of exhibits on nature. You have a lot of dioramas, stuffed animals, dead animals, and who knew? Live animals in a zoo. The Newark Museum is home to more than 100 live animals representing 50 exotic and domestic species. That's right, Newark has a zoo, and the staff runs live animal programs to help connect people with animals and nature. In this, you know, modern culture, there's definitely a distance from nature. There's a nature deficiency, and I know there's been people who've been studying that. Um, I see it, and I've seen it since I've been here, since I started. It's getting worse. Um, just listening to kids as they come into the zoo and, and learning what they already know. Um, so I think in light of that situation that's going on, what we do is, is that much more important. Today's program focused on making it a little more of a challenge for these marmosets to get their food from this plexiglass case. It's cool and interesting and I'm learning stuff about snakes and reptiles. The thing that I enjoy most and I think is also the thing that's most valuable is teaching kids about what we do, 
Um, and not only that, but teaching them about the natural world and giving them experience with animals and ideas that they may not have been exposed to before. This wraps up Ledger Live from the Rick Museum. 100 years, 100 hours. Get here. Take it easy, Jersey.